Hey guys, what's up? I'm Christian, that's Corey, and we are Super Hummy Guru 9000. That's right. Fuckers, back up. Anyway, guys, so this is our review of Naruto 633. Great chapter, honestly. I want to say that up front. I am glad that we're getting to see all the major teams from the original series get to do all their big moves, even if it is against like these uh, Ten Tails minions, I guess you could say. But we did say something last week that that's probably why they exist. If you want to use them as a plot device, it's pretty much like, let's show everyone how strong we are and, you know, kill some people that don't matter. And it was pretty cool. And uh, my favorite part uh, about the beginning of the chapter is when Naruto and Sasuke are actually like back to back and they're kind of like, sizing each other up and Naruto's like holy shit you know those are the black flames and uh Sasuke's like oh wow the ten tails is or not the ten tails the nine tails chakra is actually pretty powerful when Naruto's in control of it so it was a really awesome start to this chapter and no one says anything about Sakura mm -mm. no nope. no one really cared about that move she's like whoa she punched something and I was like eh so once again uh the author proves that Kiba is one of his favorite characters he gets to showcase him doing a brand new technique. Now, we've seen him before that him and Akamaru have been able to combine their efforts to become this giant two-headed dog before. And a lot of people have been theorizing over the years, will Kiba gain another dog head so that he can look like the legendary beast, the Cerebus, from uh, Greek mythology, which is the three-headed dog. And that's what happens this week. It's really, really awesome. He uh, creates a shadow clone, and he actually gloats to Naruto. He's like, hey, you're not the only one who can do this technique, you know? <laughs> and then he uses that shadow clone with Akamaru, and they create three Kibas, and then they're able to combine, and he has this great panel where you get to see that him and Akamaru and the clone have fused into this giant three-headed dog creature, which proceeds to just roll through all of the Ten Tails monsters one by one by one. Right after that, you have Team 8, who are really, really awesome here. You have Shino, who's using his bugs to go inside of the monsters and just explode out of them. You have Hinata, who's finally using the 64 palm technique. So, so Team 8, if you're into uh, getting eaten out or fisted, they're the team for you. The last set of really big moves we see in this chapter is Ina Shika Cho team coming together and doing things we've never seen them do before. And that is uh, Choji grows giant, Shikamaru connects with him, and Ino uh, links all their minds together and she can sense all the bad guys. At first I was like, what is she really doing? She's just putting her hand on the back of uh, Shikamaru's head and I don't understand what, why she's important. But after I read it a few times, I understand that she can sense where all the bad guys are. And there's even like this panel where they like sneak up behind her and she just like has everyone fling uh, Choji over there and they just wipe out the whole battlefield. It's actually one of the most largest, most devastating techniques we saw out of uh, all of them in this chapter. And if there was only one fail, it would have to come from Sai as he tries to attack the original Ten Tails and immediately gets like shot down out of the sky and then Naruto ends up saving him. So Sai, you just completely failed. And it's funny because you screamed like, hey, I'm part of Team 7 too. And then, like, you just suck. You're just a substitute. Substitute, man. Second grade. So our main three characters aren't going to be the ones to just let all these other characters show them up and show all their cool new techniques. They have to do something cool themselves. And uh, that's when Sai's like, we have to find a way to break through, something we can get over all these crazy techniques. And luckily, all three of our main characters happen to think of the same thing at the same exact time. And that's when they do their summoning technique, the Kuchiose no Jutsu. And uh, that's when you get that final panel of this week's chapter, which... I don't care who you are, it's just plain awesome and it's a great homage to the legendary Sonny themselves. We get to see that Sakura has summoned some sort of giant slug. I don't know if it's Katsuyu or if it's related to Katsuyu. You get to see that Sasuke has summoned a brand new snake. This is ironic because it's actually not a hawk. He's actually deciding to go back to the snakes, but I guess he hasn't gotten rid of the contract yet. And then you have Naruto, who has not summoned Gama Bunta, but he has summoned Gama Kichi. And this is interesting because this is the biggest we've ever seen him before. The last time we saw him in action was during the pain it's arc. This big. And uh, he was pretty big. Like, he could fit a human in his hand. But now Naruto is, like, literally standing on top of his yeah. head. And he has some sort of cool brand new weapon. And apparently he's taken up smoking ganja, too, just like his father. So I don't know what's up with that. But uh, it's a really great final panel. You get to see they're all there. The legendary Sonin have officially been reborn through these characters. You know, it's been hinted at before, but it's official now. I mean, Sakura's got her brand new power up. Uh, she's got the summon now, Sasuke's got his snake powers back, whatever that's going to do. All I know is the final panel is awesome. It was pure fan service this week, and as a fan of, like, battle manga, I think a lot of the times we need these chapters. I really enjoyed this uh, this chapter, too. I would like to give this chapter a 8 out of 10. What do you think, Corey? Uh, Don't give the, it another 10 out of 10, I'm not going to give it a 10 out of 10. Uh, you know why I'm going to give it a 9, though, and okay. not a 10 out of 10? Why? Because a lot of my favorite characters got to show off this week. Um, Except... I love the yo-yo. But no Rock Lee. He's just crying over Ninja's that dead body. Him and Ten Ten were nowhere to be seen this week. And I don't know. Maybe it's because they're not members of the original Rookie 9 and not the Konoha 11. But just 
I want to see Rock Lee go crazy. Like, you know how soccer just took out, like, a ton of these things. Mm -hmm. You got the, the Inoshika Cho team that's taken out just, like, tons of them at once. I want to see Rock Lee go fist to fist with, like, a hundred of those things at once. And just let him, like, open his gates and go crazy. Because, I don't know, maybe the author's going to do something even crazier. He knows how popular Rock Lee is. He's had his own spinoff anime series, for Christ's sake. Maybe the author is going to like, you know what? Next chapter, it's all Rock Lee. Just go crazy with it. That I, is I, that's wishful thinking all yes. on my part. Maybe that's just because I'm a huge <laughs> Rock Lee fan. Um, but still, this was a great chapter. Like mm -hmm. we said, it's all about the fan service this week. If you had a, a favorite character from the original Rookie 9, they do something this week that's great. I'm glad to see that Shino finally got to do something. He never yeah. gets to do anything. He's almost like, it's like a joke not to talk about him, mm -hmm. but he is a very cool character, even though he probably plays off people's fears because he's a good guy, but he uses bugs, and so many people are like freaked out by bugs or like spiders. Well, I mean, that's a stuff. disturbing technique. Yeah. I mean, when you, when you see that panel of like all the giant like roach creatures and shit just exploding out of the yeah. different portions of the body, it's like, if I ever had to fight Shino, I'd be like, fuck this shit, man. <laughs> I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I don't care what sort of special technique I might have. I'm not dealing with your fucking creepy crawly fucking bullshit. <laughs> there we go. So anyway, you guys, there's our review for this week. Please uh, go read it. It was a great chapter this week. I mm -hmm. gave it an 8 out of 10. Corey gave it a 9 out of 10. So until next time, Super Kami Guru, actually wait, you motherfuckers. You give us a thumbs up before you leave. Do it. I know where you live. I have your IP address. Okay, guys, till next time, Super Comic Guru 9000, out. If you guys need something to watch on the anime YouTube videos, I don't know where I'm going with the Jello. That's racist. Why is that? <laughs> Nothing about, you know what, cut.